Start off with a raw piece of ahi tuna. Okay. Go through here. You always want to pat it dry, and I went ahead and did that a little in advance. Pat it dry so the seasoning will stick to it. You come here, and we have, we have our seafood seasoning is what we season it with, and we lightly dust all sides of it. And then you just want to come in here, a little bit of oil in your pan. Nice. And pokey, by the way, is uh, it's essentially cubed fish. So if people haven't tried it before, don't be afraid of having fish that's maybe not fully cooked. Yeah, a little, little raw. Um, traditional oh, wow. poke in, in Hawaii and, and all those tropical islands, they typically serve it raw all the way. We do a little lightly sear all the way around just to give it a little added texture and a little bit more flavor. It cooks it's so quickly. Quick. It cooks very quickly, so you've got to be careful. Gosh. Probably about 400 degrees or so. Okay. So you're just using your bare hands there to, to sear it on all sides. Done it a few times. So. <laughs> he has no feeling left in his finger. <laughs> He's a chef. <laughs> that's, all, that's almost right, right there. Right? So, so another one of the, the most important things when you're, when you're using ahi tuna and you're cooking ahi tuna or any fish for that matter, you always want to look at the grains okay. and always cut against the grains. So against if you cut the with the grains, your fish, the bite is going to be really chewy. So you always want to cut oh, against the grain okay. and you're going through like that. Got it. And uh, there, by the way, is a list of ingredients on your screen. Josh mentioned that he does use their special seafood seasoning. Special seafood seasoning, but you can pick it up at any grocery store. Not our particular proprietary blend, but you can pick up Old Bay seasoning, okay. uh, blackening, uh, anything like that. So if you grab two tortillas. Great. Two tortillas, ready to go. Oh, two per two plate. Per oh, two per plate. Okay. We unless were, we unless were somebody's ordering a half order, then we're, <laughs> then we're out of luck. So if you grab some of the spring mix here, that's a that's spring beautiful. mix and a romaine blend that we okay. use. You always want to mound it up on the tortilla okay. and give it some height. Oh, okay. okay. Make it look nice, right? No one vertically challenged No vertically poke. challenged poke. <laughs> then we've got some spiralized cucumber there. If you don't have a spiralizer at home, you can always julienne some cucumber or dice it up into small chunks. And a spiralizer is just a little crank that you Right, use, yeah, right? they're making zoodles out of zucchini and noodles for Same cucumber and, and different things like that. So Did you add anything to this, Josh? Didn't add anything to that. This oh, is fresh delicious. cucumber. Um, you want to add a little bit of diced mango. Diced mango. Okay. Oh, yum. I love a good mango. Me they're too. so slimy, but, but they they're taste so, so delicious. A little bit of diced avocado. Mm. Okay. You go first. Oh, okay. Is it okay if we use our hands? Sure. Well, we're eating <laughs> it, <late>. so <laughs> yeah. it's okay. Okay. If we were serving it, probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. We've got some utensils <laughs> down there on the department. end. So health department may frown on that for sure. <laughs> what health not department? here in Houston Life. No health department. <laughs> All right, so you've got you came to this point. This is our chili mayo. Okay. Oh, you want to do yes. a drizzle of that? That looks awesome. So good. You want me to do yours? Sure. So this is And then is Derek, really, you got the horseradish cream. Oh, cool. You, you double up on it? Double up on it. Okay. So this is really sort of like a version of a fish taco as well then. Absolutely. Because oftentimes poke is served just in a bowl. There you go. Thank you, doll. So we offer this and we also have a poke salad that we're doing as well now. Ooh. So I don't have the touch trouble this there. One. Yeah. I know it's hard. I'm afraid it's just going to explode get out of there. Out of there. Explode on but you. look at this finished product on the screen though. You guys put it together so beautifully. Maybe Courtney and I didn't do quite as well. Um, mm -hmm. mound, your, <laughs> mound your poke up on there. Oh. Speak for yourself, Derek. <laughs> I did really well on mine. And you, all, you guys also have this in a salad form? We, we do well? have it in the salad form as well. It comes with some queso fresco on top. Oh. Very, very good. Wow. Nice. So if someone doesn't do want to do the tortilla version we'll, there. We'll add a little oh, bit Oh, yeah. More I skimped, you. didn't I? Yeah. Um, and then do we do cilantro, too? Do cilantro leaves on top. Okay. Yeah, love we were it. having this debate about cilantro earlier. A lot of people either love it or hate it. They say you're genetically predisposed I think to either like it or hate it. I think that's very interesting. I love it. I'm going in. Keep it's talking. perfect. We just serve it with rice and, and black beans. Oh, rice nice. and beans? Okay. I know this is going to be a big bite here. This is going to be a big, <laughs> messy bite. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Josh, you guys are the best. Real this good. is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. What's that drink right there? That's our, for the month of October, that's our pink ribbon margarita. It's a mm. pomegranate margarita. Um, a dollar for every margarita goes to the San Jose Clinic to support breast cancer awareness. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. Mm-hmm. Josh, thank you so much. Ooh, that I wish is we good. could just end the show right here. And just continue and to eat? eat the rest of lunch. Oh. This was awesome. You want to taste, drink that? I'll have it maybe during a commercial break. <laughs> Josh, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Really we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Super easy to make at home, too. And also, for more information, check out Texmex Dash. Or, I'm sorry, Tex-Mex.com. There you go. That's a good website. How'd you guys get that? All right.